So today we're up in uh, Sedgley. Uh, this is the second one of these we've done so far today. As we can see, this is uh, tree bumblebees inside a bird box. And it's so full of bees, they're actually all sitting at the front, look. So we just take the camera right up to it. Uh, will that work or can you zoom right in from there? I can zoom in. Now, one thing we can see on here as well, here's a big queen. Oh, she's just flown off again. As this queen comes in, you'll see these ones on the outside. These are males from different nests in the area. Here's a queen. Oh, are they going to catch it? I don't think she can even get in the nest, can she? These are little workers, the little tiny ones that work, because they're the ones we have to be really careful with because they'll sting. Oh, there's a queen now. And there's the males chasing her. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there she goes again, look, trying to get back in the box. And the males are trying to mate with her. I've been I've been dive bombed a couple of times already now. Yeah, I think it's bee suit time. Yeah, I'm gonna put my suit on because these guys aren't the, the friendliest of bees, but to be honest with you. And uh, one thing that sets them off, other than the queen coming back, one of the queens coming back like that is as soon as we touch that nest there'll be a slight vibration and it'll set them all off and they'll all go mental and come piling out the front of the box so my trick is going to be i'm going to have to get some sellotape on the front of there oh the queen's just gone in there look she's just got in the middle of that all those they all moved out the way for her so i'm going to try and get something stuck on the front of that and um we'll see how we go eh? okay next part of the uh the removal we need to get some tape over that hole very gingerly. Oh, here's another queen coming out now. Look, to the size of the queen, look. There's the queen there. Watch these guys, here comes the male ones. Look at her, she's putting her arms up as if to say, get off, get off. <laughs> oh. Right, while they're taking the attention, I don't know, you can see from around that side, can you, Mark? Do you want to come around this side, maybe? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of little dobs of silicon to help stick the tape on. Because bumblebees are incredibly strong, they're mind intelligent. They're incredibly strong. So, now what I need to do is get my fossil in one go. Come on little bees, get out of the way. Gotcha. Oh, that's holding that there. You watch that queen push that, that out of the way now. She wants to come back out again. Look. So strong. Right, pause this a sec. Okay, so. Because they're so strong, you can see them trying to push out. Look here, look, get in, get in. Getting a bit annoying now. That should that should hold them. Now what my worry is on this one, Mark. <laughs> look at them pushing the tape away, look. Unbelievably strong they are. Um this box itself is actually made of old plywood, plywood, which was probably fine when it was put up, but over time. It's starting to fall to pieces, so the next fun bit is can we get this off here? <laughs> can we get this off without it uh, falling to bits? We shall have a try. <laughs> so, here we go then. The lady says she reckons it will just lift off. I'm taking a oh, step back. Oh, this is all crunching. This is a nightmare one. <laughs> what if you screw through the wood into the oh. brick under it? <laughs> now is that a separate bit? I'm thinking. Um, oh, nearly got stung there. Look at this little worker. I'm going to get my little torch and have a look inside there. Oh, 
that to the top. It's actually got a lid on the top of that as well. So in theory, all oh, the noise as soon as you just knock it. Man. All right, girls, all right. Look at him, look at him here, man. <laughs> right, ah, so, okay. So now we need the drill driver. Right, right let's go and get it. Let's have a look right up close. I can't really see. So when I give this a tap. Absolute mental. The strength of them is unbelievable. Pushing against that sellotape. There you go. So just the drill yeah. oh, Okay, so now we've got that roof bit off, you can actually see that it's screwed in. So the next part, massive queen here, look, another, another queen. Sounds like a helicopter, the queen. Can you look close by them? Right, I need to now undo this. We want smooth movement, because otherwise, if it drops on the floor, we're all going to be running. Oh. oh, please have a back on it. Wait, Rick, can you grab that, mate? <laughs> please have me a back on it. Yes. Okay. Right. So we might as well take the lid of it as well. I'll listen to the bottom all creaking and... Oh. So... You know, the, the screw, you're going to have to push that screw back in. Well, the Queen still knows where she wants to get. In fact, no, we won't take that for us. There's all the moths, the bits of the moths. But uh, the moths actually live in there and parasitise the bees, believe it or not. Pretty brave moths. There's a massive spider in there, probably feeding off the moths. And there's some of the moth, moth caterpillar um, larvae. We'll get rid of them and we'll go and uh, put these at a place over Kimber. So we'll have another zoom in on that one. Nice and clean. Let's give it a little knock. <laughs> well, all we've got to do is go and hang these up on a tree. Lovely. Okay, so I don't know which one this is about, fifth, sixth one of the day, I think this is it so far. Or 10th, I don't know, 20th, 50th. So, we came here yesterday, I was a bit too shattered after yesterday's day to actually do it. And as you can see, we've got all these drones all over the place again, all keep circling round and round. Now, inside here, Mark, right in there, there's actually a bird box that's been there for years and years. Can you actually see it? All right. Do you want to turn the light on, maybe, on the flash on? Me to put it in. Done it. So let's have a look inside here. So inside here, there is a bird box. You can just about make it out in there. And somehow we're going to have to get that out. But being the bush that this is, it's a mixture of different types of creepers and climbers. So there's every chance that this could be a fun one, Mark. Here you go. This could be real fun because as we're chopping away to get to the bird box to get it out, if those branches have grown through the old bird box, it's going to vibrate. And as we know now, what happens when you touch, touch the bird box, they go mental. So it's a definite one for putting the old suit on, I think. And we'll get the shears on the go, eh? This could be the sting. Let's have a look. Right, so. I'm going to try and take it out from here, Mark. So, if we just start... It's like a weird game of kaplunk, isn't it, really, when you think about it? Well, you could have, like, a box of bees fall on your head. No, like, cause each one of these could be the one that goes right through the middle of the nest, and... They'll just go mental, won't they, as soon as we cut through it? You can hear them. Oh, that's good, that's good. Oh, I'm dive bombing me now. Mm -hmm. 
horrible feeling there was one inside my seat then. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Nothing worse, man. Right, I'll, I'll pause this a sec. Do you need the flash on? Yeah. Or? Do you want the flash on? I don't know. Can you see me? Yeah. Um, plus, if you put the flash on, it might attack you as well. Yeah, I'll do it now. So, I'm going to pull one of these out now. Okay. Standing back a bit. I can see that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite an adrenalizing job, really, isn't it? Knowing that any moment now. Oh, look at that big branch that goes round it. That's cruel, man. Uh, my, my face gauze keeps like, going backwards on my face as well. Right, we're getting somewhere, mate. I think. Is it attached to anything or is it just resting there? Do you it's think? just resting in there, look. Wow, I can actually hear the bees keep hitting me on the head. So in theory, I, might, might... I might have to come out for a minute. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> retreat for a minute. See, Mark, people say to me, why have I grown a big beard? Right? Well, this is one of the reasons why I've got a big beard. Because when you lean back like that, your gauze ain't going to do nothing, is it, to protect your face? Yeah. But the beard gives you an extra little, extra little bit of cover, man. So here's the, here's the old bird box that they're living in. And you know what's really upsetting about this whole thing, dude? What? It's like an open bird box. Look out! It's like an open bird box. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making me jump. <laughs> These gloves ain't that thick, like. Right? No. Um, so, when this comes out, what are we going to do? Because we've got to cover that. Gonna, I've got, I've got the tape are. ready over here. Yeah, ready the hole's massive, mate. The Is hole's it? like that big. Oh, you're joking. And like, like that across. The width of it. Perhaps that's the back of it, or it might just be one of those bird boxes that's like a like a cradle for the nest, do you know what I mean? Right. Oh, well, let's have a look if it moves. So. Does it move? It, it's that one last piece of wood underneath, and I'm kind of scared that I'm going to lift, pull that out, and the whole thing will drop on the floor. If it does, get ready to run, yeah? Yeah, I'm always ready to run, dude. Always ready well, to we run. Know that, Mark, we know that, <laughs> <laughs> my, my trusty sidekick. <laughs> ah! Landed on my finger. Ah! Being chased. Being chased. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, landed on my finger. Oh dear, I'm pausing it. <laughs> Born ready. Born ready, was uh, After that little. Okay, so. So, I'm going to pull that out now, that one. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Another piece of this puzzle gun. So that should. Oh, oh. Are you getting there now? I think if I snip that one. So glad I've got a good pair of shears. No, I'm so glad my mum's got a good shape pair of shears. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. <laughs> oh, you now one of the worst things is when you're dealing with bumblebees. When you uh, when you try and pick something up and you get one inside your hand or under All your right. hand and they vibrate like mad. It really does make you jump. Okay, we're getting closer to the coming out bit. Will it actually, is it just loose? Will it come out? I'm not sure, mate. 
I'll just have no roof on it now. Oh shit, 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 shit. Shit! <laughs> I'm off. Okay. They really are getting really, really, really stingy now, Mark. Um, so as you can see, our problem is, after all that, the, the nest, the nesting box isn't a standard nesting box. So I don't even know what to do with these guys now. What shall we do? I'll tell you what we could do, leave them for a while, wait till they get back in the box, mm. and then a bag. Put them in a bag. Put them in a Put bag. Put them in a bag. Ah, look at them. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Put them in a bag. I'm um, walking backwards. Put them in a bag. What I'll do, I'll balance this up near where it was. Look at them. They go from the extremities of my breath, basically. So please never, ever try to do this without the right kit. Because it's terrifying, as you can see, with the right kit. So I'm going to try and balance that back up in here. I'm not disturbed by that at all. Uh, Okay. Okay, right, I'm stopping this for a bit. Right. Okay, so. That's where they all are inside there. Well, some of them are left. Ow, 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 ow. Because <laughs> I keep hitting my fingers. It's like so going for the light on the thing, isn't it? Yeah, we'll leave these calm down for a bit, I think, Mark. And we'll come back and we'll slip a bag around them or something. Oh! There you go, mate. Oh, you've got that no figgy glove on you. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, here we are back again. We've let them calm down. I think they've recognised me, you know. Okay, right. So, I've got to get that in there. And then tie it up as quickly as you can. Okay, let's do it then. No, 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 done, 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 done. Right. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go. double bag it, yeah. We're going to get back out the bag in a bit. <laughs> it's going to be fun, isn't it? Right. Okay. Yeah. Job done. Well done.